Hey everybody! Just getting started. It's hot in here. Hey everybody, day three, day three of Christmas in July, going live at four o'clock every day this week, showing you some Christmas signs. Um, today, I have a really cute design. I think it would look really cute in the kitchen. You can put it anywhere though. You don't have to put it anywhere. But this one has like a baking theme to it. So I thought that would be kind of fun to show today. And I am going to put the trim on this one um, as well. Um, what I am making today is a 12 by 12 sign. And I am going to... Um, Put a trim on it as well, just like I have for the last two days. I'm going to put a trim on the, on this sign as well. And before we get to what the sign, um, what the sign design is for today, I would like for you guys to tell me for the background. I'm going to paint the background live today. What color should I put on the background? I know you don't know what the design is, okay? Um, but I'll tell you this, I'm going with red and white. And so do you think we should do a red background or a white background? So I want you guys to put a comment. I know you don't know what it is. I know you don't know what's going on with it, but tell me, a red background or a white background? It's your choice. This is a Christmas, sign i think it should go into the kitchen if that kind of helps okay and if you're just tuning in if you sprinkle this video you know hit that little button down there that says if you sprinkle the video at the end of the week um somebody who sprinkles shares will win um one of these craft kits their choice free and <coughs> sorry i just <laughs> Followed my spit. Um, and all the signs that I make this week, I'm going to be doing some giveaways with. So, sprinkle share, sprinkle share, and you'll be entered to win. So, while we get started, I'm going to go ahead and stain the trim pieces on my sign. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to Crafty Life Mom. I am framing out a um, new sign today. So, I'm going to go ahead and start stain staining the trim pieces and I need you to put some comments down below guys tell me red background or white background I know you don't know what the design is but we'll take the majority so of what I see come up on the thing so tell me which ones you or which color you think should be the background okay don't be afraid all right so while we get started with that I'm going to go ahead and paint the trim here of the sign. Um, it's actually not paint, it's a stain. These are um, kits that I am sharing with you guys all this week that I have created for the shop. And you are able to purchase these kits. Um, they come cut, the trim comes cut if you order the trim. It's an add-on, it's only $10 to add the trim. And you get this color stain, the weathered stain included with it um and it's all cut to the board that you order they come in two sizes right now 12 by 12 which is what i'm doing today and 12 by 24. um and you can do any colors that you want but most of the signs will come with like the basic colors um 
you know, of what the design probably was intended for. So, just so you know, um, like this is a Christmas one, Christmas in July. So your typical colors will come with that. Like the sign we did yesterday would come with black and white, red and green. So if that makes sense. But you can do any colors you want or you can add colors. It is completely up to you. Um, but like I said, these kits are like cut for you, ready for you. You get a stencil with it, the paint, um, the brushes, and you can craft away a sign um, for your home, for your decor. And so because it's Christmas in July, the last week, I'm introducing these signs this week, all Christmas ones. After this week, um, I'm going to move into fall designs, Halloween designs, and regular everyday home decor design. So I have about, I said this yesterday, I have about 60 different designs um, that I'm looking to put up onto the site, craftylifemom.com. If you're new there, on the far right, there's a button that says shop, C-L-M, Crafty Life Mom. Click there, click on craft kits, and it will take you right there. Um, so you can see the ones, and I'm adding a new kit every single day. So um, we are doing a 12 by 12 one today, and if you decide to order the trim with these, the trim pieces will have some holes in them, like some pre drilled holes with the nails so that you can easily just take a household hammer and nail your your trim pieces to your sign okay so um it's really user friendly it's really really easy okay all right so i am making a sign i said christmas sign i think a couple more have joined hello welcome welcome and I am going to do a red and white theme. So you can probably guess what kind of design I'm gonna do. Maybe you can guess, maybe not. But I am asking you to put a comment there whether or not you want um, a red background or a white background. And I know you don't know what the design is yet, and that's fine. Um, we're going out on a limb. Just tell me, what color do you think the background should be? Red or white? Um, and then I will reveal what the design is for today. Okay. And so in the meantime, I'm painting the trim pieces that are the add on, or I'm staining them like I do, or like I did the last few days. Um, just to show you how they look. I just love this weathered stain. Um, this is the stain that you would get with your, um, add-on pieces for your trim if you pick the trim and I just love this color now you can certainly use another color you don't have to use the one I supply but I just like this look the best um, it kind of has that modern farmhouse weathered wood look it's not too dark not too light and it is a gray based tone wood so yeah, and we usually, like what we do is we're painting the trim pieces first because it allows for the wood to soak in the stain the longest. Okay, so I see a couple whites, whites, whites. Anybody want red for the background? Anybody? Red or white is the choices, so make sure you put your vote in if you're going to vote. I think we got more white right now than we do red from what I could see. Um, so we will go from there, but... It can be red or white, so we'll see what you guys pick. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, if you, let's see, I've got some more people joining. If you sprinkle the video, if you sprinkle share the video, um, or this live, you will be entered in to win a craft kit free. I'm going to do a giveaway on the last day, um, or maybe I'll go live again after the last live, so you have a chance to get another time in. Um, and I'm going to put everyone's name in a bucket and I will draw somebody to win a craft kit um, for free. I will ship it to you. So, 
Sprinkle share, sprinkle share. <laughs> That's what we say. We call it sprinkling. I know it's a thing. Sprinkle it, sprinkle it, sprinkle it. Okay, let's see. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Being that we went with white yesterday, I vote red today. Okay, so your organization is goals. Thanks. <laughs> This is the dream box behind me, by the way. I think that's what you're talking about. All of my craft um, supplies, most of them are in here. I do have behind the camera, I do have like two other shelves. Um, like they're kind of bookcases rather where you can put different things in there. And I have like, there's like probably six shelves on each one and about three on each one I technically use. The other ones are a little more decorative, if that makes sense. So not everything fits in the dream box, but most of the stuff does. I just am one of those people who accumulates craft supplies, but I will say this, the dream box, which I have a coupon code if you're interested in that, um, where you can get some off, because they are pretty pricey, but they are a really good piece of furniture. The dream box holds a ton of stuff and it does help you stay organized to where you do not buy duplicate supplies or materials. So, just saying, okay? All right, I am about done with my fourth piece. So if you're just tuning in, we are painting another sign today. And it's a Christmas theme, haha, -ha, cause it's Christmas in July. <laughs> this is our third day. If you sprinkle share the video, um, you'll be entered into win one of the craft kits for free. I'm gonna do that on Friday. I'll probably do it Friday afternoon, evening, and put everybody's name in that sprinkle shares. And I'm I'm writing it down every time um, someone does. So we have a running list, okay? And um, I just lost my train of thought. Do you guys do that? I don't know what happened. Anyway, so each each day is a Christmas design because it's Christmas in July. And so after this week, I have some fall ones that we can start sharing with you and doing um, for fall. And I'm really excited for fall. Is anybody excited for fall? Like at the beginning of July, I was not, but I am now. Like I just, I went to Hobby Lobby, surprise, surprise, again. I go like once a week. And it's like where I can hang out. I don't know. It's like my place. Anyway, um, when they started bringing out all of the fall, I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. But now they have it like almost all out and they started bringing the Christmas. And I'm just, I don't know. Fall time is my favorite time to craft and decorate in my home. I have more decorations for fall and Christmas than I do anything else. So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of excited for it. We kind of need something positive to look for, right? Like, <laughs> it's 2020. So, all right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and move on. So, what did you guys decide? Let's see, let's see. Oh, Elle's about to start decorating. Okay. Call me over. I want to come help. Okay. Let me see. So, I'm going to scroll back. I see white, white, white. Two reds, I think. Okay, so I think white is the winter. Winter. White is the winter. White is the winter, guys. So, um, we're going to do white. Who thinks it was a candy cane design? Because it is not. <laughs> You're ready for fall, Tammy? I am ready for fall. I am. And I don't think I'm going to do the typical reds and oranges. I think I'm going to do something different. I don't know, I'm a little scared, but you know what? I wanna be a little brave and just go out on the limb. I think I'm gonna do different colors for fall. Um, not too crazy, but yes, I think I am. So I'll be sharing that um, next week. I have some fall stuff that I'm gonna do. All right, so we're gonna do white. White is the winner. I'm going to go ahead and paint the background white. Um, let me show, I'm gonna squirt out some of this paint here. This just helps it. Um, to be easier to smooth out when you get this paint it's going to be in a um, a little cup right and it's gonna have a lid it's gonna be sealed if you get a kit and so for most of the designs like white would be the color you'll probably get the most of for the base unless you specify like in the comments that you um, want like red to be the color then I'll make sure you have enough red but um, 
the good news is it's like paint is pretty cheap. You can get a little barrel of it at Walmart for like less than a dollar. So if you decide you don't want the traditional colors, you can always um, pick up something for a buck and, and have your color there. So when I paint the background on this, I go with the grain of the wood. Um, that just kind of helps the paint to seep in a little bit better. And I'm gonna coat the entire back or the entire side of this board right here. But I wanna show you guys a quick technique really quick. So if you are looking at making one of these signs, what are we making, Carol? We are making a cute little home decor sign. Um, it's a kit that you can actually purchase. And um, basically everything comes included with it, the paint, it's a stencil and the materials, and by the end of it, you can have a cute little design. So it's kind of like a craft at home kit where you have some home decor. And these are Christmas signs for Christmas in July. So we are painting the background of it before we lay down our stencil. And you can see right here on the edges of it, at the top there, I don't have my paint all the way. So like from far away, it kind of looks more of that barn wood rustic look you can do that to where the edges are like that all the way around um to kind of keep it that way or you can paint the entire um board like i'm doing here and then go back with a sand um sanding block or sandpaper and kind of sand off that paint to kind of give it a little bit of a texture um if that makes sense let me get a little uh, thing right here I keep them here I keep all my paint stuff in that little spot so I'm gonna need a little bit more white but I don't want too much so just gonna get that all filled in right here so this is the background of the design and I'm just doing a nice thin coat you can easily do two coats I mentioned this yesterday I should have brought it today but I didn't I forgot um to make the paint on the background dry faster, you can use a heat gun or a hair dryer. However, once you lay the stencil down, do not use the heat gun or the dryer because the stencil material is kind of a plastic material and I don't know what will happen to it. It might melt and you don't want it to melt onto the wood and be stuck there forever because the stencil is a stencil and we are going to pull it off, okay? But, so we're doing the base right now, we're doing the background, we're gonna paint it, and we're gonna give it a minute or two to dry, um, and you can certainly do two coats. I'm gonna do one thicker coat on this just to make sure I have a nice base background, and then um, we're gonna get to stenciling. But if you're doing the kit at home, what you wanna do is give it some ample time to dry, and then maybe even do a second coat. Um, and if you wanna speed that process up, you can certainly do a heat gun or a hair dryer, like from a safe little distance, and then go ahead and dry, like, you know, help the paint dry. Just don't do too much heat, like a low heat is pretty good. Then once you lay the stencil down, no heat, okay? So I hope that's clear. Um, instructions are included with these kits when they ship to you, so you'll have that piece of information in there if, if you're just joining or that kind of confused you. And if you are just tuning into this, if you sprinkle share the video, you will be entered in to win one of the craft kits free at the end of the week. Um, these are some craft kits that I am making and putting up on this shop, craftylifemom.com. If you click on the far right hand side, you will see the word shop and there's a drop down and it says craft kits. It will take you right there. This week, I am putting up all the Christmas designs. Um, and then after this week, we'll start some fall ones, some Halloween ones. But I thought it would be fun to kick it off with Christmas in July being the last week of July. So that's why we're doing Christmas today, tomorrow, and Friday. Um, so I just painted this board. We picked white in the earlier vote, if you were early early to tune in and so I'm just giving it a minute here to kind of dry this is certainly you know a pretty good coat I don't know if that kind of looks in the camera I don't know if you can tell let me turn it 
Um, it could probably use another coat. And I know some of you are probably thinking, yeah, give it another coat. Um, I probably would, but for the sake of letting this have a little bit more dry time, I'm kind of fanning it too. Um, I'm just going to do the one and leave it more of that rustic look, okay? So, you guys ready to see the design? You ready? I think it's super cute. Um, it's definitely um, something I would put on display in the kitchen. I get paint on me every single day. If you could do this without getting any paint on you, you would be my hero, okay? All right, so for today's design, we are making this one. It says, Baked Fresh Daily gingerbread baking co and it's cookies pies and cakes made with love how cute is this you guys i think this is super adorable and so we're going to do this one i think now you guys tell me i was going to do this one strictly red and white well the background is white which means everything would be red here um every part of it. I probably won't do any black. I will probably just leave it all red. So if you think I need to add a color, tell me that I need to add a color to this design. Let's see, hey Tammy, how are you? I need to see what you have made. Oh, you can go back and look. Um, they're there, they're all on the page. Anyway, so, and I'm adding one a day to the shop. Um, Okay, so these would be a super fun thing to do too with like craft nights. Just saying, we should do that. We should get together and do that. Okay, so baked fresh daily gingerbread baking coat. I think I'm gonna leave it all red, guys, unless you, you know, have a different opinion. Speak now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it ready. My board is still a little wet. I just kind of smeared it right there. Let me fix that. Um, letting it dry, giving it another minute. So while it's drying, let me see if I can kind of. I'm hot. I'm hot every day I go live. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Hello. Oh, Carol says I should add green. Do you guys think I should add green? Carol, yesterday I did all green and green and black. If you didn't see that one, I did a different design and we did green um, on that one. Let's see. L, you're saying what size are these? Okay, so these sizes are 12 by 12 or 12 by 24. I am looking to offer bigger ones, but right now I'm just seeing how they go since they're kind of new. I will get to making probably bigger ones. Um, I've been wanting to work with wood. I've been wanting to make some signs. And so um, I'm starting with the smaller ones first and then we'll go bigger, probably like 18 by 24 is what I'm thinking, I don't know. But these are the 12 by 12 and 12 by 24. So yesterday's size was the bigger one. If you wanna go back and catch that live, you can see it. And if you're just joining us, make sure that you sprinkle share um, the video because on Friday, I am doing a giveaway. Um, somebody will get a craft kit sent to them completely free. And yes, if you're wondering, I am learning how to cut the wood. And I am learning how to um, do the trim pieces and all that. My husband is helping me. So he has a whole like thing out in the garage with the, the uh, tools and all of that. So yeah, crazy. But these things are so much fun. And um, how it kind of came about to be, well, I've wanted to work with some wood signs. I've always been painting over different wood signs that I found in different places, so this just seemed like a natural thing to go into. Um, but recently, I um, redid like the front living room when we built the wall here with the shiplap, and I put my hutch up that's up against this wall, and above the hutch, there, there was nothing really. It was just kind of plain. And so I got the idea to like put a bunch of different wooden signs like uh, layered up, kind of overlapping and um, just kind of, you know, like an interest on top of the hutch and really, really like the look. And so it's also gonna be one of the places in my house that I change with the season. So I need some different signs to layer up there um, to kind of help it, you know, be extra cute, right? Why not? Let's see, hi. Maybe the flourishes could be black or green. That's a good idea. I do like that idea. We might do that. I'm gonna, um, we'll see once we lay it down. So what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling back the um, 
part for the stencil. It has a clear top on the front and it has this white backing. When you get this in your kit, you will um, paint your board. Once you get ready for your stencil, you're gonna remove this backing from the back. It's super easy. It's just a little sticky. So you just have to be careful that, um, you know, you don't pull up any of the smaller pieces, like the letter P has a little insert in it. You wanna make sure that that does not come off with it. And you can kind of see a few of this um, letters do here, but um, for the most part, it's pretty easy. It's just making sure that it is all in where it's supposed to be. This gingerbread word has some little tiny slivers that kind of define each letter. And so I'm just making sure that they stay laid down in place um, just to keep it kind of, you know, whatever. Keeping the design, I guess. All right. And so, yep, I see the little flourishes you're talking about. I do think that might be cute maybe in a black. Or I have an idea. I said today I would use glitter. So I don't think I'm going to glitter all the words. Um, glitter tends to be messy, but I do think some glitter could be cute. Not a lot, just a little in for some interest um, on the sign, but maybe do like a red glitter. What do you think? Do you guys think some glitter sprinkled in or no? Kind of like, you know, how sprinkles would be on cookies. And since this is a baking sign, I keep laying that back down. Since this is a baking sign, that might be kind of cute. I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you think? Yay or nay on that? Um, I like some glitter at Christmas time, but not, not a ton. Okay, I just twisted my little curly there. Gotta lay it back down, okay? All right, so we've almost got the entire transfer free for the backing. I've almost got it all free here. So, just finishing off the D. These little lines are, I'm just making sure that they stay in their spots. And the insides of like the letter A's, the insides of letter O's, letter P's, they all have like a little dot that are tiny and they just kind of want to come up. So, okay, so there's that. I had a little tool right here. One kind of went to the edge so what I'm going to do is just pick it up and lay it back into its spot it's that easy <laughs> all right so here we go let me lay it down all right so there it is I got a little paint on the front, but that's okay. It's not going to affect it at all. Now we're going to lay it down on the, um, the board, okay? And I'm just going to I tell everyone this. When you're doing any kind of vinyl work, you make your um, transfer, you make your vinyl, you make your stencil into a U-shape. You start from the middle, and then you lay it down flat, okay? Same thing goes with this. So you kind of want to hover over your board and just kind of see where your sign's gonna line up. And also just double checking. Let's see, I want, make sure that I have my boards where that's my topper. So I'm just gonna double check everything to where it lines up. And then I'm going to lay down the stencil. Um, just making sure I get it completely. Centered. And now you can certainly measure it, eyeball it, or whatever um, if you want to. I, I eyeball it. I don't really measure it. So it is up to you if that's what you want to do and you want to get out a pencil and kind of mark it with a ruler, go ahead. Okay? So now I'm just laying down the stencil onto my painted board and just making sure that everything is kind of smoothed down. And then this is the hardest part, guys. I freak out about it every day. But this is <laughs> it's only because I'm live. Um, but all you got to do after this part is just lift that top clear part off. And I always say to pull it at an angle. Um, it takes a little bit of time. It took me a little time yesterday. 
to do it. Um, but you just kind of find a corner that has a good spot and then you're gonna pull at an angle. So let's see if I can get this in started here. It looks like I can. And then, yes, so instead of pulling upward, you're gonna pull like flat down, okay? And that's the best way to pull the, um, what do you call this? The transfer tape off um, to just reveal the image or the, um, the stencil, okay? And so you can use some pieces to kind of hold it down or just hold it with your hand. I'm gonna make sure I keep all my little dots down that they don't come up and just keep pulling. The good thing about these kits is that if you, you can get different ones and you guys can have like a girls night or a craft night and I'll do them together and I'll make a different sign. I know some of you have asked me, <laughs> when are you gonna have like a craft party? Cause I used to do that. I used to host different craft parties at my house um, with some friends and we would make different things. Um, I can totally do that. If you guys are interested in that, I, I might be willing to do that. We'll see, but you have to come and ask me. Um, it's been a while and I wouldn't mind coming to you, but you know, it's gotta be safe. So, all right. Um, we're gonna keep going here. I got a little piece right there. That's my P and I'm pulling super smooth. So every single letter like D, A, P, they have these little tiny pieces, okay, that just want to come up. And that's fine. You just got to make sure you get it back down in its little spot. They're just so tiny. They stick to the bigger piece that you're pulling up than to the piece down there. It's just nature of the beast, I guess. I don't know. And sometimes when I get to a corner, I start with one side and then I'll start on the other. I know that's kind of nuts, but I've done that too. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep pulling this free. There's just some little details right here that are making it pull up the little O parts. So, I'm about halfway on that side, so what I'm gonna do is flip it now and try to pull from the other side. Let's see if I can get that corner to lift up. Okay. It doesn't help that I have a ton of painted fingers that I can't get it lifted. All right, so that is like my problem child right now, okay? All right, let me just pull and smooth every time. I'm gonna cut this as I go, because I feel like that will help. Let me make sure the D part is down, the A parts are down, and then pull again. H, it's another one that has a little piece. Uh, P, R, let's see, what's all the other letters that have little inserts? Those are the letters that are not my favorite, especially when it comes to this, okay? Here we go. All right, and this one has a little extra on it, so there we go, B. Now we're in business. I really love these designs, but they have like the little intricate um, 
lettering to them. And it probably doesn't help that I am super hot right now. <laughs> and they just want to stick to my fingers. Okay. Letter A. Letter E. The Florida Lee. <laughs> So, you guys, while I pull this off, tell me what have you been up to? What is new in your world? Other than the obvious what's going on in the world. Tell me something fun or tell me something good that you have been doing or that you're looking forward to. Um, something positive, maybe? If you got something positive, all right, it's sticking to my fingers. Just get that right there. Okay, so we're almost there. Pulling it down. Making sure I got it all smooth. There we go. Maybe tomorrow I'll have this part pre-done for you guys. <laughs> so you don't have to sit and wait. There is a little bit of tediness, tediness, is that a word? Um, to this piece of it, but it's really not that difficult. It just is patience. Um, when it comes to pulling this off because you just, you don't want to pull the design and you don't want to rip it. So, and I'm doing mostly with my fingers. Um, I have a little pick tool here. You can use a toothpick to kind of help hold it and grab when you have like little insert pieces like what's in these letters. So you can see here, look, let me show you. See how it kind of, this little piece right here is lifting. I just want to make sure that I'm holding that down and it's staying down with the wood. And so when every single letter like B, R, D um, have a little insert piece, you got to hold like two or three at once. So um, that's what's causing it to be a little slow. So I'm just taking my time on those to make sure that they stay down. Okay, so we got that. Oh, let's see. The D. All right. Pretty easy though, once you get it going. And once you get past those little pieces, it's not that hard after that. And this down here I've already pulled, so it's coming a little easier. Um, it's just getting to that middle, working your way to the middle where all the pieces are on this font. And I might just start pulling them right here and then I'll go back and put them on if they pull up. That might be an idea to do too, so. Keeping them in place. Almost, we're almost there, just gotta do the word Baking Co., which also has some of those lines in it, so just be impatient. And what I do is I just start at my corners and I work my way around the whole sign until I'm to the middle. And then it should just lift off out of the middle, if that makes sense. Um, it kind of just keeps it easy. And that's why I'm making these little um, live videos so you can see how I do each of the designs as well. So, almost there, just a couple more letters and we're home free. Always the hardest part. But was so worth it when you get it done. So worth it. There we go. It's going to come off now. 
Ta-da, we did it. All right, so I have a few little pieces right there that I'm just gonna insert right back into the little O and the A. Let's see, this one was the D. Gotta have that little piece or it looks kind of funny. You know what I'm talking about? It kind of has like, I don't know. It doesn't look right. All right, so I'm gonna show you this one I pulled, so I'm gonna cut it. This, I'm gonna show you this little font that is on this sign so you can see what we waited for um, on it. So now I'm just pushing everything. There's like one little piece right there. Where did it go? Ev oh, right there. There, I knew it was somewhere. Okay, all right. So every part of it is now there. And so now I'm just gonna make sure I'm all smoothed down. Sorry. Hey, Jessica. Hey, guys. We are making a home decor sign. These are craft kits. We just did the hardest part, so you missed that part. But um, basically, you can do these like at home. You can do them with friends. You can get whatever. And they are um, they're just kits that I'm making. And so they are on Crafty Life Mom. And here you go. So here is the sign with the stencil. Right there, wiping my face. Um, whew, I'm hot. And we just laid down the stencil and we took off the clear. And now we are ready to paint. And we are going to do a red and white sign um, because this is a gingerbread sign. And I thought that would be really cute um, to put. I just wanna make sure my stencil is pushed down since I lifted some of those pieces in the middle. Especially around your letters. You don't want any leaking or any smearing underneath your stencil. So you wanna make sure it's all laid down really good, especially after on this one, there's some details in there. So you just wanna make sure that all the little spaces are pushed down, all the little inserts of the O's, the D's and the B's, they're all good and pressed down, okay? You don't want any bleeding if you can help it. There's always a little bit, but it's not bad. And like I said, you can always go back with a teeny tiny paintbrush and touch it up, okay? So we're gonna do a red and I'm gonna add some glitter in some pieces as well, okay? So let me go ahead and get some red ready here. And then the technique for doing this sign is for taking your little sponge and dapping it into the um, paint, okay? And then kind of sponging it off. So basically you're gonna get some on there and then take it off. And the whole part of this is just to dab, 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 dab the entire, um, the entire thing. So they're kind of fun to do. Now this part is partly my favorite part because it's the therapeutic part. And it's the easiest part. You just have to basically get some paint on there, not too much, and you just kind of Sponge it into place. You just kind of dab it on into place. So that's exactly what I am doing here. Is just stabbing, just stabbing, <laughs> dabbing it into place, filling in where the stencil is not, right? So I'm putting in where the letters are and putting it where the stencil is not, okay? So it's pretty easy. And I'll finish this part of it and I'll show you. See, that's what we're doing, okay? All right, so if you're just joining us, um, if you sprinkle share the video, we are going to be doing Christmas in July all week long, or I'm gonna be doing Christmas in July all week long. These are little craft kits that you can purchase through craftylifemom.com in the shop section, it's on the far right and it's craft kits, and I'm adding Christmas ones all week for Christmas in July. And then next week, I will be putting up some um, like fall ones and Halloween ones. And these make like, you know, they, you can do this for your home, you can make signs for your house, you can do it with friends, you can do it, you can even give it as a gift if you want to. Um, somebody who likes to kind of be crafty, or do home decor, we can all kind of buy the same decor from Hobby Lobby. I actually went to Hobby Lobby today 
And we can buy the same things and all have it in our house or you can kind of do something different and have something a little unique or whatever to your home. So that's kind of where this idea kind of came from. I just kind of like to mix it up and do something different that nobody has. And the beauty of these two is that you can um, change your colors. Like you can do different colors if you want to. The sky's kind of the limit. Um, once I get these Christmas ones done, I think what I'm gonna do is also offer some that are personalized and kind of go from there um, and see what happens. So this one is an all red and white sign that we're doing and um, I think we might throw a little bit of black in there. I forget who said throw some black or some green in there, but maybe I will on these like little dot periods here that separate the word pies, cakes and cookies, and then maybe the little Florida Lee. Um, I think that might be super cute. You can also paint like an entire pattern on here. If you guys like are into the Buffalo check, you could do that as well. And then put the stencil down and paint the stencil on top. That would be really fun. Oh, I'm trying to think, different ideas you can do. There's so many ways you could do it. It's totally up to you um, how you do this. So, you guys will have to tell me what you think. All right, so, and I also said today, I would add some glitter to this design. Let me make sure I'm all pressed down right there. And, um, what do you think? Where should we add the glitter? Oh, I got a little bit of overhang there. No worries though. I'm gonna clean that right up with my brush. Because it's red, so I don't wanna do that. Let's get that off. So you guys tell me, what part do you think we should do with the glitter? I think I'm gonna do a red glitter. Let's see. What paint are you using? I'm just using an acrylic paint to do this. And then I'm dabbing it with my sponge and just filling in my stencil. And I'm just dab, dab, dabbing it. Um, with the darker colors or like with the color that has a darker background, you might wanna do more than one coat to do this. Um, especially if you don't have a heavier hand, it can almost look red or I'm sorry, it can almost look pink. So you just gotta kinda be careful when you do like a red on a white background. Um, but here, so I'll just show you guys how far I am right now. See that? All right, and we're getting to the end here. So I will show you how I add the glitter once we get this layer on. Cause the glitter is almost like a second layer that's with the paint, and I'll show you how I do that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is my favorite part, it's the most relaxing. You just kinda, you know, blot, blot it on, and you know, make sure that you fill in all the spaces of the stencil that need to be stenciled. You can even do different colors, you know, like I just got an idea, like um, if you have like a candy theme that you do, how fun would it be to do like all the different colors, like green and red and purple and hot pink. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like those color themes for um, Christmas, like a bright candy land kind of like Christmas tree, which you know what, in saying that, I just got another idea for a design, which I might go ahead and make that one and do that one for Friday. I don't know, we'll see. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do another large one and I kinda have my plan for that, but I don't really know just yet what I'm gonna do for Friday's design. So maybe we can do that. Or maybe, I'm supposed to be meeting up with a friend. Maybe I'll get her to do it. Show you how easy it is, right? She's not very crafty, but she likes being crafty, so. All right, so I'm getting almost done here with my red. What I'm gonna do next is go back and add some glitter on some of the areas. Now, I'm not gonna pour the glitter on. I will show you how we add the glitter, and I'm just doing some simple, subtle, subtle spots. I'm not loading it up. Like, I'm not a big glitter person. I do like it when it's right, 
Um, but I don't like a ton of it. So, but I do like sparkle. I know some of you would probably say that I like a lot of glitter. I don't, I really don't. Like it's a mess. Maybe in my younger days I did. But lately here, I'm more into the muted tones, like the matte colors. So glitter does not go with that at all. <laughs> But being that this is a cute little sign and we're talking about baking and cookies, I think sprinkles of some glitter would be cute. You guys will have to tell me what you think. Um, so what do you think, glitter or no glitter? All right guys, so I've got it almost all done. While I let that kind of dry, I'm gonna add in a little bit of black here and just do like she said, the Florida Lee. And I'm going to do um, these little dots just to kind of give it a little bit of dimension. I think that will be cute. Let me just get all of that done up. And like I said, so you just dab it in your paint and then you kind of dab off to the side to kind of remove all the heaviness of the paint on the sponge. You just want a little bit, a little dab will do ya as they say. I don't know. I don't know who says that, but I know I've heard that somewhere. Little dab. Little dabs, little dabs. Okay, so there's my black. And let me go back and get some of this red here in the middle because it was almost too light. And like I said, you do not want it to look pink, especially when this is a Christmas sign with red and white. We want it to look red and white. So just make sure that you get it evenly coated with your sponge blobbing technique here okay for the best result anyway and you might have a little bit of bleeding or a little bit of smudging and that's okay like I said you can always go back with a paintbrush and touch it up okay so now to add the glitter I do have red glitter here glitter is not included with the kits but if you have some on hand totally you could do that I'm just gonna put some in my little spot here and then what I'm gonna do is dip it in the paint dip it in the glitter, dip it in the paint, dip it in the glitter until I get like a pretty good little mix. And then I think, let's see, which part should we do with the glitter? Maybe the middle part? Maybe we'll do the middle part. So the, the glitter becomes part of the paint, okay? So it's not like Globbed in there. You don't want to put too much in there because you don't want it to look like sand, okay? You want the glitter to kind of sit on top, but you don't want it to be too, too much. So I'm just going to do a little bit here just to give it a little bit. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the glitter, but I kind of like it when it gives it a little something extra. Okay, so I'm about done. I've got it on the baking coat and I've just got just a little bit of a light, a light coat there. Let's see. Yeah, and it kind of sticks with the paint so you don't have to worry about it like, you know, shaking off, I guess. It will stay there and then the rest of it will come with the, um, come with the stencil when you tear off the stencil, which is the next part to this, okay? So does anybody have any questions so far? I know I haven't asked that. Does anybody have any questions about it? No? Getting to the end, which is my favorite part, next to this part, I say that. The final part where I pull it off. Yes, yay, yay, yay. Okay, let's pull it off. All right, so just want to pull it nice and easy. Nice and easy. I love looking at this part of it. Probably one of my favorite things about it. And like all those little pieces that I had to make sure were staying down, like the little B inserts and the little P's and the G's and the A's, 
They don't really come up. You have to go back and pick them back out. After you had to push them to stay down, now you gotta go back and get them back out. That's the fun part of it, I guess, right? So you can use a toothpick or if you have like a little digger tool, um, I don't know what you call these, a little pick. Um, if you do any kind of crafting, you probably have one in your stash and you just gotta go back and pull all those little pieces up that you had to make sure we're laying down when you did the stencil. That was the most tedious part of it. It's really not that difficult. You just have to have a little bit of patience for that part. Um, but once you get all of that done, laid down, it's so worth it with the design, especially on this one with the font, because the font has a little um, like accent piece to it where it has like a little strike through, like a little white in it or that's what we're gonna see is a little bit of white, which gives it so much interest and it makes this font really pop um, with the whole design. So I really like that look. It just was a pain laying it down with the stencil, um, but it's worth it. So now we're just going back and we're picking up all those little pieces um, out of the little O's and the little B's, A's, the D's, you guys know which letters, right? Half the alphabet, it seems. Have some kind of little insert piece. And the glitter looks really good on it. It's subtle, it's very subtle, which I kind of like it that way. There, some of it is blowing off right there. Um, oh, there's a little piece right here. Didn't even see, let me get that. And then my G. It looks so good on this font. And I will show you guys once I get it all done here. Let me just keep picking it away. Now you guys know all those little pieces I was pushing down, how many there were. <laughs> there were quite a few on this design. So, but it is so cute. I'm glad we have them in there. I mean, I had to make sure they were all laying down, but it looks so cute with each little letter. Each one has a unique little accent to the shape of the letter. Those little tiny slivers of the stencil um, are making this design really cute. So just trust the process, okay? That's the best thing you can do. Don't get frustrated. And obviously you wanna give it a little bit of dry time before you peel it off. I did it okay and it's pretty dry, um, but there's some spots here and there I'm trying not to touch because I don't want to um, smear it anymore. So, just so you know. Oh, this part looks so cute. Made with love. Look how cute. When I start revealing more and more of it, I just fall in love with it more. All right, this is gonna look so cute, like in the kitchen, maybe next to where you keep your baking stuff or where you, um, you know, have like your little, like I have my flour jar and my, I think it says brown sugar, it's like a Ray Dunn. I have that laid out in my kitchen, like in a little nook. And this would look so cute, like kind of behind it, just leaning up with my mixer right there, leaning up on the backsplash. You guys know what I'm talking about? Christmas time, you know, I like to make the house look like Hallmark Channel. <laughs> yes, it is called a weeding tool. I should have said that, I know that word, but sometimes I feel like some people don't. Okay, so look, look how cute. You see the little inserts on the letters? Each little piece had a little sliver of that stencil that I had to get out, and then I also had to make sure it was laying down before we did it. So, let's go ahead and add the trim my favorite parts of making these little signs. And if you're still just joining us, make sure that you um, sprinkle the video and you can be entered in to win one of these craft kits free. They went live on the website on um, Monday and I'm adding a new design every single day while we're doing crafting in July. Now if you order the, um, is my battery dead? Nope, I had to check it. 
If you order the craft kit and you decide that you want to get the trim, it's just $10 more to add it. The trim, it comes um, with the stain, so you can stain it or you can stain it to something to your liking. You don't have to use the one that it comes with. You can do, I'm gonna turn it. Um, you can do whichever one you want. They are cut to the board that you have, okay? And the holes to nail in the trim are going to be pre-drilled to your sign. So, if you don't have one of these, no big deal. You can use a household hammer and just nail in your, um, you know, like with a regular hammer, your trim. You don't have to have one of these. These are nice, um, but it's not required, okay? That way it's real easy. So the holes are there and the nails will be provided with your trim and the stain, or you can stain it any other stain you wish, okay? So I hope that helps you decide if you are interested in getting a kit. Also, you don't have to get the trim. You can just leave it as is. Um, that's totally up to you what you do, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna do my top pieces here, and then I will show you guys what it looks like finished. And it looks so cute with the glitter. I'm just gonna brush a little bit off here. It looks so cute with the glitter. It kind of looks like this has been sitting in the bakery We've been making our cookies and we got some sprinkles on it. So super cute. On the longer pieces that go across the top and the bottom on these short signs, and it's the side ones on the um, longer signs, there's two nail holes, a top and a back, whereas the side ones only have the one. And then there's also one in the middle. So that um, helps you understand. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put one in the back back there. Just a good measure. All right, oh, keep tipping that over. And let's do this last piece. Any other questions, guys, before we end this one today? You guys have any requests for what you'd like to see tomorrow or Friday, Christmas in July? I have tons of designs and I've just kind of gone through and picked out, you know, a few that I think would be fun, but I'm totally open to any suggestions. So, um, and then I just got another idea while we were making this one for another design, which I'll totally have to do. Probably will do, but here it is. Look how cute this one turned out. Super adorable. I love the red and white and whoever suggested to add the black like little detail here. And then I did it in the between with the dots of the cookies, pies, and cakes. I think that adds a little bit more to it. So totally loving this one. If you just joined, um, you guys, these are craft kits that are on craftylifemom.com in the shop. Just click on craft kits. They are being um, shipped to you. You paint them. They have a stencil. You can add the trim. It's easy. Um, and it's fun. You can do it with friends. And you can add to your home decor and have something a little different than what everyone's getting at the stores, right? So super cute. All right. So I'm going to leave this one here with you guys. And that's it. If you guys don't have any other questions. Um, make sure you sprinkle this because if you sprinkle the video, sprinkle the live, you're entered to win on Friday evening. I'm going to do a drawing for a winner for a free kit. Okay. And I will ship it to you, um, which is also free, free shipping on these kits. So make sure you share it because I would love that. All right. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow, four o'clock again. We will go live with a new design. And if you have any um, any special requests for something that you wanna see, or words, or texts, or phrases, make sure that you um, send me a message and let me know. I'm happy to share with you, or happy to you know come up with a design with those words, and do that on the live here, so. Um, all this week, though, is Christmas in July. Next week, I will do fall. So if you have a request for fall, which I have a couple of ideas in mind, then I will totally do um, some fall ones. All right? All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.